The aim of this video is to summarise the chemicals that e-liquids contain in about 5 minutes. E-liquids may seem complex, however they all have the same basic composition. There are four main parts to every e-liquid. Propane glycol, shortened to PG, vegetable glycerin, shortened to VG, nicotine and flavourings. Some e-liquids also contain additives, but more on that later. You'll sometimes hear people referring to the base of an e-liquid. This is just a non-flavour part of the liquid, so the PG and the VG. PG is a synthetic compound with a chemical formula C3HAO2. It is useful in e-liquids as it carries flavours and provides throat hit. It's a thin liquid with a consistency only slightly thicker than water, with no odour or real taste to it. Vegetable glycerin, C3HAO3, is a natural compound that is obtained from plants. VG does not carry flavours or provides as good a throat hit as, v as PG, but it does provide a lot of vapour. VG is a very viscous liquid that has no odour and a slightly sweet taste to it. Bear in mind that the comments I've made on taste are entirely subjective. It's also worth mentioning that both these substances are widely used within the food industry. Most e-liquids use a combination of PG and VG to offer the best perks of each substance. If you have any bottles of e-liquid laying around, then you'll have noticed that there's a ratio of PG to VG is written on the bottle. As you can see, most of my purchased liquids are 70% VG and 30% PG. These ratios are entirely down to personal preference, and unfortunately, unlike nicotine strengths, companies usually only make a flavour in one VG to PG ratio. Moving on to the nicotine. So this is the addictive and dangerous part of e-liquids. It's formula C10H14N2. Nicotine is labelled wrong in e-liquids. It is in terms of milligram when it should be labelled as milligram per milliliter as it's a concentration that they actually the number represents. However, for some reason, they just decided to drop the milliliter part. I use 72 mg per milliliter when making my e-liquids, which is convenient as you only add a small amount that gets diluted to give you the correct concentration. So I either smoke 3 mg per milliliter or 6 mg per milliliter depending on how I feel. My nicotine is based in PG, however you obviously can get VG based nicotine. Ever since TPD has come into effect in Europe, you can't buy nicotine as easily. So now you can't buy above 20 milligram per milliliter doses, although there are a few ways around this that will be covered in later videos. Finally, we move on to flavourings. These are the most complex part in terms of composition. Every flavouring has a few different chemicals that produce its unique taste. Going through everyone would be near impossible, additionally only limited information is available for manufacturers. Most flavours are based in PG, however some flavour companies like Real Flavours use VG based flavourings. But why does it matter? Well, to most people it doesn't. It only matters if you want to make, say, a 100% VG mix and you had a lot of flavourings in the recipe that are all PG based, obviously that would not be possible. It's worth mentioning some of the controversy of e-liquids. As of the creation of this video, very limited scientific studies have been conducted into the effect of e-cigs uh, long term. As such, we're all taking a risk vaping that can be complicated by some of the chemicals within flavourings. The group of chemicals I'm referring to are diketones. Very basically, a diketone means two ketones. A ketone is a functional group of oxygen double bonded to a carbon, which is not at the end of a carbon chain. There are three main ones to look out for, diacetyl, acetylpropanoin, and acetoin. Diacetyl being the chemical that has been linked to popcorn though. Well, I say linked, but I mean there's a whole debate on that in and of itself, so there will be links in the description. These chemicals are generally used to achieve buttery flavours in things like custards. However, many companies like Capella are releasing version 2s of the flavours which do not contain these substances. What a lot of people don't realise is these chemicals are contained in larger quantities within cigarettes and many vapors choose to make their liquids without any of these chemicals in and opt for the special flavourings that don't have them in. It's entirely down to you and it's your personal preference. If you're okay with taking the risk of using these substances, it's a massive topic within the vaping community, so as such, check the description for the related articles. The final thing that some e-liquids may contain are additives. These are sold by the flavour companies and include things like sweeteners that don't have their own flavour as such, but are used to enhance the other flavours of the recipe. So this was the first video in my e-liquid mixing 101 series. The next videos will be getting more and more practical on things like what you need to buy, where to get it from and how you get started mixing. So keep an eye on my channel. If you have any questions, comment below. Thank you for watching.